The tire industry is known for its slow pace of change and modest growth, with a market value hovering around $50 billion for years. Competition is fierce, and prices are often the main factor for buyers who see tires as interchangeable commodities. However, there is a potential shift on the horizon with the rise of electric vehicles. EV tires cost more and need replacing more frequently due to the vehicle's weight and quick acceleration. But these tires are designed to handle EVs' demands and even enhance their range. This shift could bring new opportunities to the industry. Tire companies compete by making their products different from each other. One way they do this is by making tires that last longer. But this can be tricky because the more durable the tires are, the less often people need to buy new ones. So, even though they want to make better tires, it can hurt their business in the long run. Now, with electric vehicles, there are even more challenges. Tires haven't changed much in their basic design for a long time, they're mostly made of rubber and filled with air. But there have been a lot of improvements since they were first invented. For example, Michelin came up with the radial tire first in 1946, which changed how tires are made. They've also developed new materials and rubber mixes that work better in different conditions, like cold weathers. Today's tires are crafted using a variety of materials, each serving a specific purpose. Factors like the compounds used, the design of the tread pattern, and more can be adjusted to tailor the tire's performance for different needs. For instance, racing tires are super smooth to maximize traction, like those slick rear wheels and drag racers that grip the road tightly. However, such tires can be slippery on wet surfaces. On the other hand, most regular road tires have some tread on them to improve grip in bad weather, but this can slow down the tire, impacting performance, fuel efficiency, or the range of electric vehicles. Finding the right balance is crucial because if you improve one aspect, you might compromise another. The real challenge lies in making improvements on multiple fronts simultaneously. EVs present both challenges and opportunities that set tire manufacturers apart from each other. One challenge is the increased awareness of tire noise due to the quiet nature of EVs compared to traditional internal combustion engine cars that are called ICE. Think about the sound a basketball makes when it bounces. That's similar to the noise made by the air filled inside a tire. Techniques like inserting foam can help dampen this noise. Another hurdle is extending the range of EV batteries, which is incredibly valuable. Gasoline still packs much more energy per pound than current lithium-ion battery technology used in EVs. For example, the battery pack of a Chevy Bolt with a range of 259 miles weighs about 960 pounds, while a comparable gas-powered Chevy Cruze can go nearly 550 miles on a single tank of gas, which weighs just over 80 pounds. Researchers are in a race to change the efficiency of EV batteries. While EV batteries currently don't store energy as effectively as gasoline, they do use stored energy much more efficiently. With traditional gasoline cars, only a small fraction of the energy stored in a gallon of gas actually powers the wheels, with the rest being lost as heat. In contrast, EVs deliver about two-thirds of their stored energy to the wheels, and even more if they use technologies like regenerative braking. However, EVs still face energy losses through factors like rolling resistance in tires, which is the force that slows down a tire as it rolls. Because EVs don't have the energy losses associated with traditional engines, reducing energy loss through tires has become crucial for maximizing EV efficiency. Improving tire efficiency can significantly increase an EV's range. Studies have shown that tire choice can impact an EV's range by as much as 10 to 15 percent. So for example, if a vehicle has a range of 300 miles, choosing the right tires could add an extra 45 miles to that range. One major challenge, but also a big opportunity for tire makers, is that EVs wear out tires faster than traditional vehicles. This could be the first development in the auto market in decades that actually increases tire demand. EVs are typically heavier than the regular cars, which use the internal combustion engines. The Kia Niro EV weighs approximately 20% more than its gasoline counterpart, and if we compare even the large trucks like the GMC Sierra 1500 with a turbo diesel engine with the GMC Hummer EV, which has an electric architecture, the Hummer EV can weigh almost twice as much. In fact, even though they are very heavy, EVs can accelerate very fast, much faster than regular cars. This is because electric motors can do their job of delivering power to the wheels much more quickly than regular engines. This immediate delivery of power creates the feeling of being pushed back into your seat when you've pressed the accelerator. 
On the other hand, the fast increase in speed adds more pressure on the tires, and the weight of the car is also a factor. EVs utilize regenerative braking, which puts additional force on tires when the car is braking. This is why the tires of the EVs will wear out faster than those of regular cars. EVs have high-performance tires, which are consumed in the shortest time anyway. When you consider the weight and power of an EV, it would mean that tires would be worn out in about 15,000 to 20,000 miles, which may be costly. EVs, electric vehicles are nowadays gaining popularity, and the good news is that this is a big chance for the Goodyear and Michelin tire manufacturers. According to Michelin, the EV tire replacement market will grow by 6 to 7% by 2027, which is a drastic increase from what is currently by 1 to 2%. The market for EV tires is expected to grow by 33% per year until 2031, according to another analysis by Alex Partners, while the demand for tires for ICE cars is predicted to decline by 2%. For the first reason, the EV tires need to be replaced more frequently, and as a rule, they're more costly. In general, tires for EVs last about 20% less than those on ICE cars, and they're usually twice as expensive. For instance, the tires of a Tesla vehicle may need to be replaced every 15,000 miles, whereas a regular car may go about like 40,000 to 50,000 miles before needing replacements. Thus, continuous income flow for tire companies is insured, and this is something they haven't had for a long time. In contrast to this, tire manufacturers are also involving to fit into the new demand. They're working to build EV tires that can have a longer lifespan. For example, Bridgestone features the Turanza EV tire with a 50,000-mile warranty, and Goodyear's electric drive tire comes with a 60,000-mile warranty. Innovation in tire technology is happening at a fast pace, which the tire manufacturer have to deal with both problems and potentials. The one trend is tire intelligence, which is about the sensors and tires that measure temperature, pressure, and road contact to predict tread wear and replacement needs. It can promote good tire maintenance and safety by providing this information. One more trend is the growing tire size, which is due to the increasing size of American vehicles. Although smaller rim diameters still represent the bulk of the tire market, larger sizes, for example 18 inches and above, are gaining in popularity. Some EVs with wheels as big as 20 to 24 inches are available on the market and have a higher price tag. On the one hand, this leads to the expansion of the product range of tire companies, which must find a balance between the introduction of new technology and sizes and the saving of their budget. They look for the niches in the market that are growing fast and sometimes at the expense of the products that are no longer in demand. Since the industry is becoming more intricate, tire manufacturers have to deal with these challenges very carefully to keep their competitive edge and meet consumers' growing needs.